circuit is always a favourite stop for the competitors in the Euro Formula Open. The high speed nature of the Cathedral of Speed makes some fantastic racing. It was the title contenders Konstantin Tereshenko and Vitor Baptista who led away at the front of the field and an indifferent run through the Retifilio left Baptista with some recovery work to do. However quickly the race came into the pattern we were hoping to see which was wheel to wheel racing lap after lap between Baptista and Tereshenko. Eventually Vito Baptista was able to get clear of the Russian driver but was under pressure for the whole of the race. However, his task got a little bit easier. Tereshenko ran across the white line at the edge of the track one time too many and that incurred the wrath of the race director and a five second time penalty. Tereshenko was then in the wars. Sathian Thiracles move didn't quite come off. And Damiano Fiavaranti was the innocent victim. Broken suspension pitching the Italian driver into retirement. Also in the wars was Leonardo Pulcini battling with Diego Menchaca for rookie honours and the Italian fortunate to be avoided by the chasing pack. Well late on Tereshenko tried to claim the on the road victory over that five second penalty then the hopes of outright victory almost impossible. Baptista was able to withstand the challenge, kept his nose clean and came through to score the win. Yukanamaru was promoted to second place with Tereshenko demoted to third following his penalty. So it's another victory for RP Motorsport and Vitor Baptista. So Brazilian was starting to take an ever greater stranglehold on the title fight. In the rookie class, a superb drive from Diego Menchaca was rewarded with victory clear of Igor Wilco and Ahmed al -Ghanem. I've been waiting for this race during the, all the season. And it was a really difficult race because here we have a long straight, so the slipstream is really big. So don't care if you start on first or second, the 10th guy can win. My goal is to be in front of Terechenko all the races and the team gave me a really good car. I have a really good pace, so let's see tomorrow. to race two and another damp qualifying session that gave us a very different complexion to the grids of the pack surged towards the retrofilio for the first time out front Konstantin Tereshenko desperately needing to make amends from the previous day's disappointments as Alessio Rivera was right in the thick of the action in the early running Mark Gorpard was the sole victim with a damaged front wing Tereshenko quickly found himself being slipstreamed by Igor Wililko and Damiano Favoranti from the RP Motorsport team. Frustratingly for the Russian driver, that was enabling Vitor Baptista, who's had a difficult qualifying session, to climb through the order. Then Tereshenko tried to switch back into Retofilio, tagged one of the cars in front, wrenched away the front suspension, and that sadly was it for the Russian. A desperately disappointing retirement after the small list of errors. William Barbosa had been absolutely spectacular in race one, unfortunately had a slightly more disappointing end to race two, a huge moment of the Scari, which just kept out of the barriers. At the front of the field, it was Damiano Fiavranti who was romping clear as Yukonamaru expressed his frustration not being able to toe up to the race leaders. So Fiavranti scoring a maiden victory in the Euro Formula Open to the utter delight of the RP Motorsport team with Vitor Baptista coming across the line in second place and the all RP Motorsport podium completed. Fiavranti, who'd been so unlucky in race one, celebrated with the win on the top step of the Monza podium. It was Igor Wilko who was victorious in the rookie class. A great day for RP Motorsport. happy for this winner, this is my first podium so I am so happy and I say thank you to my team for everything for this weekend and I hope to be like this for the next uh, events. It's so difficult to stay in front here because they, there are the toes so uh, I did a good uh, race and uh, I am satisfied.